I ain't seen many guys match the work ethic of, of Ryan Coogler. I really haven't. You know, the things he does on set, you wouldn't believe it. You know, he was lying down, hiding behind the table at certain points in that press conference, just trying to goad me and wind me up to get the reaction that he wants. He, he has a vision for things, and uh, his vision for this movie is, is going to be special. And, you know, if he can, which I think he can get his vision across and propel it onto the screen, then people are in for a very special movie. I've grown up watching Sylvester Stallone and, and then I remember the first time I met him I was like hello Mr Stallone shake hands and he was like listen please call me Sly so I was like okay that was that was a bit crazy uh, and then getting to know him was real good you know we went for a meal and, and sat down and got to speak with him up close and I was amazed at how much he knew about boxing and like I didn't know he'd managed fighters and, and helped you know, really direct careers in the right way and looked after a lot of fighters and, and that was that was nice to know because it's like, okay, he's done great through the boxing franchise, through the way he's helped boxing, but he's not only just helped us as fighters and, and put us on the map more internationally with Rocky, what he's actually done is he's actually helped fighters out of his own pocket and looked after certain fighters and uh, that's amazing. Like I say, getting to know him has been, has been crazy. Pretty Ricky Conlon is basically a, a guy who is from Liverpool. He's a big Everton fan, always has been since he was born. Uh, he he is a guy who's 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 rose to stardom, has never forgotten where he's from while he's rose to stardom. So you know this guy is the the best fighter in the whole world, but at the same time he's still living in the same place he was 20 years ago. He's still straight up in Liverpool doesn't forget where he's from. He's got himself a couple of kids. Uh, he's a single father. Uh, and he's just trying to make things work. Mike has, has worked tirelessly, worked really, really hard. Uh, his physique is unbelievable. He's, he's an amazing athlete, personally. I mean, I know he could play a little bit of basketball and stuff like that, but Mike's, Mike's adapted really well. And he's rolled with the shots. He's mixed with three different boxers, professional boxers here. And we all fight at a high level. Gabe Rosado. Andre Ward, and then me. And like I say, I'm, big, I'm naturally bigger than Mike and he's had to suck it up at times. And But like I say, he's worked hard. Mike should be very proud of himself. And, and like I say, he's got a great work, work ethic. He goes to work every day, 12 hour days. He puts the shift in. He's an amazing actor. There's, there's some scenes I've seen him doing this movie up close that I've watched me personally and it's been, I've been taken aback. James Bond fans, did you know that Skyfall is the only Bond movie ever made by an Oscar-winning director? Hmm, now that's interesting. Want more movie facts? Click on more videos. Or for the latest trailers? Click on the playlist.